Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I just, I don't know what to do with him anymore. I don't. That last match that we were in, I, I did everything he asked me to do. And I'm still wrong. I counted the three count. He's not happy with that. So he tells me to stay home for the next week. I can't do right by this guy. But I'll tell you what, I'm about done with it. I've had enough to hear with it. 20 years ago, I'd have wiped him up all over this place. I'll tell you what, even today, I could probably beat him with one hand tied behind my back. I'm just sick of this. I'm about at my point. I know I need the money. No, I need the money. But I, I, I'll try to choke it down, but I'm about at my boiling point. I can't take much more of this. No. No, I'll do good. I'll be all right. Hello, PWA fans. Aaron Hurd here, ready to get things started on another fantastic edition of PWA Wrestling. Got quite the lineup for you. We are going to kick things off with a U.S. title defense by the new champion franchise player, Chris Cruitt, against the man he defeated for that belt not that long ago, one Tommy Forte, plus eight-man tag team action with the tag team champions, Vicious and Delicious, joining forces with the chaotic connection of Bjorn and Lafferty to face the combined forces of the crazy hillbillies, who we have not seen altogether in quite some time, plus outlaw Tony James and real deal Kevin Cruitt going to face off in our main event, so let's not waste any any more time, fans, let's get things started right now with franchise player Chris Cruitt and Tommy Forte for the United States Championship. Hello, wrestling fans. Aaron Hurt here, ready to bring you another great edition of PWA Wrestling, joined by a new voice in the commentary booth. I want to welcome J.R. Goodman. Good to have you along. I hear that uh, you were uh, brought on board by the specific recommendation of Nick Stevens. I'll try to not hold that against you. Thanks for the warm welcome, Aaron. Uh, glad to be here. Well, we are, I've got a, a fantastic way to start things off for your inaugural broadcast here because we've got the franchise player, Chris Cruitt, the new U.S. champion, defending that belt against the man he took it from, Tommy Forte. I'm quite uh, intrigued by this matchup. Uh, definitely look forward to see how... Forte handles himself in the role of the challenger. Do you have any thoughts on this before the bell gets us going with this first match? Well, Aaron, um, from what I've learned hanging around with the PWA wrestlers is Chris Pruitt, the franchise player, has held the belt for a month. This is his first title defense, and he's honorable enough to give it back to the former champ. Well, that is certainly one way of looking at it. Uh, Tommy Forte was a stalwart champion, held the belt for over nine months, uh, defended it quite proudly. Uh, franchise player Chris Cruitt is uh, of the opinion that this is the renaissance of his career. There we see two men find their way into the ropes, forcing a clean break. Collar and elbow tie-up once again. Chris Cruitt goes to the bear hug. Cruitt with an extensive MMA background. But Tommy Forte is easily the equal of franchise player in the strength and power department. And certainly knows uh, his way around a, a wrestling hold. Side headlock there, basic strategy so far, very deliberate from Chris Cruitt. Gets the takeover. Oh, nice reversal there. Oh, 
Again, Forte able to reverse the pressure. Fraser's player almost got upset there, JR. Yeah. It was a close call, but I'm sure the franchise player has got him right where he wants him. Well, he connects with a big shoulder block right there, hooks the leg. The franchise player is using a pretty methodical attack, and he's made Tommy Forte use a lot of energy. So far, he definitely has kept the pace in his favor, I would certainly say. And Forte might have a little bit more uh, aggression, as I said, coming into this as the challenger. Oh, big boot right to the side of the head. There's your honorable champion, JR. Kicking the man while he's down on the outside of the ring. Well, he's trying to get him back in the ring, and that's exactly what he does. They are back inside the ropes now to break the referee's count. I think many fans uh, who once held franchise player in quite high regard, big backdrop there, takes Tommy Forte up and over. I think the fans that once had a lot of respect for Chris Cruitt have had a significant uh, change of heart over the way that he stabbed Tommy Forte in the back to w come away with that U.S. title he's defending in this match. Big charge across, all 255 pounds. Makes contact with Forte in the corner. Oh, gets the foot up. Great reaction from Forte. He needs a rally here to get back into this match. A big head scissors. Into that one. Oh, smart move by the champ. Take a little rest break. Get yeah. his composure. Yeah, creating a timeout for himself. But Forte not letting him get too far away. Face first into that ring apron. Dirty trick hitting the man from behind. Near fall, but crew it able to get the shoulder out. Forte looks like he's going to work on that arm. A walk in the top rope. Belt right there. Just that close from capturing the United States Championship once again. Goes right back to the arm. Put back to a vertical base, turns it into an arm drag, rolls through, maintains the, the grip on that arm. So far, I would agree 100%. Now it's Cruitt working on the arm of his opponent. As we said, with that uh, MMA background, he certainly uh, knows what to do in this situation. He knows how to make a body part bend uh, in ways nature never intended. Crowd trying to rally behind Forte here. Knee right across the bridge of the nose. Close call. 
Another very close count from our referee, indeed. Oh, Sleeper hold. Is this gonna be enough to put him out? What do you say? Well, he's right in the middle of the ring. Chris Crude has got him right where he wants him. Arm drops once. For a second time. But Tom, oh, Tommy Forte. I think Chris let him move, let him out. I don't know, no signal from the referee. He thinks, apparently he thinks Forte's out. The referee hasn't made a signal yet. I think you're right, I think he might have let him go. Apparently the referee's letting the match continue here. Forte might have been better off had he let that arm drop the third time because he just took an elbow right to the small of the back. His kidneys aren't going to feel good in the morning. Where's he going to go from here? Second rope. Elbow pad off. Drops the forearm. But still not enough to put Tommy Forte down. You look about as stunned as our US champion there, JR. Well, I don't know how he's doing it, but Tommy Forte is putting up a heck of a fight. There is no quitting that man. That's what made him one of the standouts on the PWA roster for the past two years, if not longer. Look at the power from Cruitt, though. Cruitt to the top rope. Once again, gonna try his luck from the high rent district. Might be taking too long. You caught it there, Aaron. F Forte with still the awareness to roll out of the way. Forte rallying around the crowd. Surge of adrenaline. Still favoring that back, however. This has been the most sustained burst of offense we've seen from Tommy Forte, and he connects with the spine buster. Ooh. You might see a new champion crowned in your first ever match here on PWA JR. Oh! Both men doing a great job here. Well, that's what it's all about here in the PWA. These men leave it all in the ring regardless of the circumstances. But when you're somebody like Tommy Forte, who's not only trying to get back a title that he felt that he lost under less than fair conditions, but the pride he wants to regain by dishing out a little payback to Tommy Forte, or to Chris Pruitt, excuse me, is quite the motivator. Big boot to the face Big Chris Pruitt. Knocked him all the way to the ring, to the arena floor from the ring apron. Yeah, Tommy's only having these short bursts of adrenaline here, and then he's just gassed. No, no ability to follow up. Of course, cannot win the title by count out. However, I would say the smart thing would be to stay in the ring, try to recover. Apparently, he's heading to the dressing room. It looks like. Wow. I did not see that coming. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by count out, Tommy Forte. You can tell Forte. However, still the United States champion, franchise player, Chris Cruitt. You can tell that Tommy Forte is quite frustrated at the result of this match, even though he was declared the winner. Yeah. Chris Cruitt walks to the back, takes the count out. Fans, we'll be back for more after this break.
GWA fans, Eric Herc here with you. If you like what you are seeing on YouTube, then don't miss the opportunity to see the action live and in person. The first Saturday of every month at the PWA Arena, 737 Slocum Avenue in Lancaster. Premier Wrestling Alliance is in action, plus select dates in towns near you. Check out PWAOhio.com for tickets for not just the arena events, but all events. Arena events start at $5. And that's PWAOhio.com for all of your ticket information. Eight-man tag team action here. Aaron Hurt with J.R. Goodman. First time we've seen this man, one crazy hillbilly, in quite some time. I believe he was deported there. Yeah. That's uh, that's the the rumors. That's certainly what Vicious and Delicious wanted us to believe. That this is quite the occasion here in the PWA arena to have all of the hillbillies assembled once again. There you see John D. Now, Aaron, that's been over a year since the Hillbillies have all been together, right? Uh, as I said, yeah, it's been quite some time. We'd have to go back and check the history books to find the exact date, but... The crowd sure loves Randy. Oh, it, indeed they do. And they love the next man that we're going to see, J.T. Hogg. They're going to face off against... As we said, the tag team champions, Vicious and Delicious, L.A. Cordova, Gordon's Morgan Taylor, and the newest force in the tag team division in the PWA, the chaotic connection, if you will, of Bjorn and the Irish hitman Lafferty. Have you had much of a chance to scout any of these men in your time at the PWA training facility? Well, Gordon's Morgan Taylor and L.A. Cordova are definitely fighting champions. That's what I have seen from my experience so far. Well, they used every loophole they could find to get those belts back around their waist. Another important factor, the lady in red you see out there, Scarlett, who was once a fixture at the side of the hillbillies. Now aligned with our tag team champions. I believe the Hillbillies are square dancing in celebration of being back together. That's what uh, appears to be happening. You get these Hillbillies together, man, anything's liable to break out. Get your fiddle and rosin up your bow, because this is going to be one slobber knocker. As uh, I've heard said before, yes indeed, this, is, this could have some of those bowling chew ugly tendencies as well with the way that these four men feel about each other. This isn't going to be nearly the kind of scientific wrestling we saw in our opening match. That's for sure. I'm looking for a quick, brutal match here. The key to any match like this, where a six-man, eight-man, multi-man tag team matches is to isolate one member of the team and wear him down as best you can. This is the kind of fight that can go all night long. Getting started right now, fans. We're the bell has it in there. There's the bell. the bell. I believe that we're going to have to head to a commercial break here pretty soon. We'll see if the referee can get this action under control beforehand. We'll try to sort this out. Right now, we've got a huge battle going on. Yeah, I'm getting the signal that it's time for our next commercial break. As the Hillbillies stand tall, we got an eight-man tag team action coming up right after this break. Stick around for PWA Wrestling on YouTube.
Franchise player Chris Cruitt here for the PWA School of Professional Wrestling. Do you want to be a wrestler, a manager, a ring announcer, a commentator, a referee? The PWA School of Professional Wrestling is your opportunity. 737 Slocum Avenue in Lancaster, Ohio. Tryouts are absolutely free from 4 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, 7 to 9 on Tuesday. Come on down, try it out. See if you got what it takes to be the next big star. We're back, fans. The the action was quite intense during our commercial break. The Hillbillies able to take the advantage. As you see, L.A. Cordova, the victim of Air Hillbilly. Gorgeous in there to save his partner. Which in turn brings in Randy. Oh, and Lafferty from behind. What a cheap shot. There's the tag. Wrong part of town for Lafferty, or excuse me, for one for as Lafferty charges in with the big hip attack. This man has been practically uncontrollable as of late. You can see uh, his partner Bjorn really in a couple of boots as well. Juan's taking several vicious chokes. The referee's distracted. One out of the corner the hard way. <laughs> Only a two count though. Don't judge one by his size. He's one of the absolute toughest, most resilient competitors the PWA has ever seen. And you hear how popular he is with the crowd. They are firmly behind him. He's been a tag team champion. Oh, Scarlett. Chokes Juan on that second strand of ring rope, enabling Lafferty to come in from behind. Randy and John D off the ring apron, around to the other corner, having words with somebody. Looks like they're trying to. Big splash by the monster yeah, oh. Bjorn. I was going to say, it looks like they were trying to deal with Scarlett while Bjorn dropped all 430 pounds down on Juan with that huge splash. He's taking one heck of a beating now. He's been taking the bulk of the punishment. In the past few minutes here, did you see the velocity? Now that's power. Bjorn continues to be impressive. Here comes gorgeous Morgan Taylor. Here she more. Drops the big leg. Nonchalant cover. You're not going to beat anybody that way. Not even after the vicious beating lines taken so far. But that's, that's the way these tag team champions like to do business. Double team blind tag from Randy. Referee saw it. I don't think LA Cordova was quite aware. It's only a matter of time, JR, before this breaks down, much like it did at the start of the match, before we went to our break. Yeah, tension's getting high here the PWA. Hey, let's go. Well, all of these men have had issues with each other in the past. No love lost on either side of this eight-man tag. John D, who's had to battle some fairly severe injuries as of late, brings Juan back in as the legal man. A relatively short time that Juan had to rest. I don't think it bodes well for the, the Hillbillies. 
certainly very insightful. I would uh, agree 100% that I would have left one out there on the apron for a little bit longer to recover. But he's quite the spitfire. Big vertical suplex there. But still only a two count. No, oh, sorry about that. Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just saying that um, JT Hogg is not even been in the ring yet. He is fresh and probably ready to go chomping at the bit to get a piece of Vicious and Delicious. Uh, L.A. Cordova sent over the top rope with a clothesline, and yeah, I think they're definitely saving JT as the cleanup hitter. Well, action spilled out onto the floor. Yeah, we've got practically all eight men on the outside. I think you're going to get oh, one more. One! Up and over with the dive. His momentum carried him all the way into the crowd. The crowd's getting it back into this. Rather awkward landing on the leg drop and eliminates L.A. Cordova. I believe we neglected to mention that this was an elimination tag team match. So now we have a four on three situation here. Lafferty loved to try to intimidate our referees. Big forearm by Lafferty from outside the ring on the one. Very arrogant cover there. Once again, that's not the, the way you're gonna beat somebody like Juan. Yeah, the push is right by Lafferty. Oh, he's quite the pugilist. A oh, little dance break by the Irish hitman, and then an uppercut. Here from Lafferty, I think he's going to work him over in this corner. Charges in with a cannonball. I'd say Juan is most likely on the verge of being eliminated from this match. I don't see how much more of a beating he can take. Oh, but finds the back door. Caught right by Morgan Taylor, though. He drops him face first, and that looks like that's going to be it for one. That's right, baby. I am gorgeous. Yes, you are, gorgeous. More than Taylor. Eliminates Juan Hillbilly. Huge Uranage. I would have suspected as much you being a fan of Vicious and Delicious, considering you were recommended by Nick Stevens. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to give you the benefit of the doubt there, but I don't know about uh, about Morgan Taylor. I don't think I wanna know about Morgan Taylor, but they certainly, I mean, they, they deserve all the credit in the world for being three-time tag team champions. But they're a, a far side away from being as respected by the fans as someone like Randy is. Well, Randy's respected and all, but he's not wearing the gold. And that is certainly a point I cannot argue. Bjorn comes in to take a shot at Randy, left wide open by Morgan Taylor. And this has been quite the rivalry over 2019 here in PWA, the conflict between Bjorn and Randy. Look at this. Bjorn and Lafferty have no respect for the referees. They don't have respect for anybody. I'm surprised that they even agreed to partner with 
vicious and delicious, to be honest. You know that they've got those tag team titles on their minds. Well, you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And I think that's the mindset of Vicious and Delicious. Very well could be. Don't know if the jabs from Cordova, or excuse me, Morgan Taylor, have quite the same effect that that knife edge chop did on Randy, or that charge into the midsection. We're down to three men on a side here. Randy avoids Morgan Taylor and charges in and connects with a splash of his own. This does not bode well for Morgan Taylor, JR. Oh! Did you hear the sound of that? I think they heard that all the way back to Los Angeles, California. Very well could have. It reverberated certainly all throughout the PWA arena. Reversal, line tag, dirt road slam. It's a great move by Randy, but he did not see the tag. No, Morgan Taylor, not the legal man. Randy fighting for his life here. Is he gonna try to take the 430 pounder up for a suplex? You gotta be kidding me, JR. Oh, Jordan able to block. Randy blocked that one as well. Force the wheels. Wow. Oh my goodness. Randy's had severe back injuries. That could aggravate them in an instant. Oh, might not be able to power the big man off his feet for a second time. Big Beal from Bjorn. Just one second from elimination is Randy Rowdy Hillbilly. Well, that certainly would have put his partners in quite a tough spot. Comes firing back with right hands. Staggers Bjorn and levels him with the Lariat. Gets him up for the slam. Huge power slam from Randy, but that might have taken all the remaining strength that he had. Well, that should not be well for his back. No, that might have been that last reservoir of strength he was able to summon. Couldn't even get back to his feet. Referee putting a count on Bjorn, who is still the legal man chose to keep the count on Bjorn instead of trying to get Lafferty out of the ring. Now it's a two on one and Randy's the one that goes outside. The fans are trying to rally Randy back on his feet, but he looks down and out outside the ring. Might have another count out situation here tonight. Referee up to seven. Cordova from the back. He's already been eliminated. Our referee's got no choice but to count Randy out. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, apparently the ref has made it a two on three advantage against the Hillbillies. He seemed quite pleased by that, JR, but. Oh. Randy was outside the ring. Now there's the brakes. John D picking up the slack. Well, remember, Aaron, as I pointed out earlier, JT Hogg has not yet seen action. So maybe their strategy was to get them all wore out and then any the other three hobos. Even so, I would put one JT Hogg against any two, three, five, ten men in the PWA.
Morgan. Taylor gets floored. John D. definitely with a lot of payback on his mind when it comes to Morgan Taylor. The effect that Scarlett's betrayal has had on John D.'s life is probably indescribable. I see you over there. You're like, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, right? Well, what my mama said, if you don't got nothing to say about somebody, don't say it unless it's true. I do believe Scarlett don't give a damn about John D. Cobain. Perhaps not anymore. Low blow. Referee did not see that. Morgan Taylor back to those trademark left jabs. Brings in Bjorn, who has been a very effective mercenary for Vicious and Delicious in the past. He just steamroller. Yeah, full head of steam, drove that knee right to the sternum. Might have caught John D under the chin, couldn't quite tell. But only a two count. What an epic battle we've had here. This has been fantastic action between these eight men. My feelings about our tag team champions and their partners aside, they've put up quite a fight now, and by the same token, you've gotta be impressed with the Hillbillies' performance, JR. Oh yes, the Hillbillies are gutsy, and as you can see, gorgeous Morgan Taylor giving the business to the crowd who don't understand greatness. He has accused them of such before. Well, those are his words. And speaking of greatness, let's not forget that Lafferty is Mr. Shot at Greatness. That ace in the hole that he's got, he can have a title match, any match, with any stipulation at any time he chooses. Something I hope our tag team champions are well aware of. Double team action here, shades of demolition. Um, I think that's all she wrote for. Hey, you are yeah. on the money there. Wow. It's down to three on one. Well, a fresh JD. JT Hogg. I'm just I'm just excited to see this fresh man against three proven warriors. Well, Morgan Taylor's the first one to take his chances. Even faced with these three on one odds, JT Hogg has not taken a back step, has not shown any reservation. Fighting them all up at the same time. Taylor goes down, Bjorn gets staggered. Here comes Lafferty from behind. Now Bjorn and Lafferty and Gorgeous Morgan Taylor, better watch out or they're gonna all get disqualified. Could very likely be disqualified. The referee doing everything he can to maintain a modicum of uh, control here. Cheap shot from Lafferty. You see how JT Hogg's still able to power out. And as we've noted several times, he spent the entirety of the match on the apron. Saw his other three partners eliminated. Crowd starting to get back behind JT Hogg. Maybe he'll bring him up on his feet, give him a surge of adrenaline to mount a comeback here. He certainly needs something to inspire him. goes JT. Man has dropped about 125 pounds. Are you talking about Scarlett? Uh, no. Not exactly. I, I'd say Scarlett's probably a, a, about a, a 
maybe a buck five anyway, but in any case, and she'll probably be mad at me for guessing that high. No, JT spent several months away from the PWA and got in the best shape of his life in the process. Oh, Morgan Taylor adds a little insult to injury. Very nonchalant And cover. again, uh, as, I don't care how many times he tries it, it doesn't matter if it's Juan, JT, whomever, you're not gonna pin anybody like that. I mean, even with the three of them left on one side, I hope they pack the lunch if they're gonna try to put JT Hogg away. Cross body. Yeah, the big man got off his feet. I think that was it for Gorgeous uh, He got the shoulder up off the, the, the mat, apparently, again, some confusion. Not sure if he was eliminated or the got the shoulder up. Referee says just at the last second he got that shoulder up. Drop kick from the big man. I don't believe what I just saw. Well, it's still a two on one for Lafferty, the Irish hitman, and Bjorn. And uh, you see JT Hogg is having to uh, pull some tricks out of the bag. That just proves my point that this man's in the best shape of his professional career. It was, it didn't get as much height on the drop kick as we've seen from others, but still probably better than what I could do, so. Hey, two feet and uh, your small your belly. You may have got a little lower there, too. Jordan trying to position JT where he can get some leverage. JT doing his best to fight him off. Big headbutts. Elbow drop. And Bjorn eliminated. JT Hogg down to one on one with Lafferty the Irish Hitman. Who comes charging across with a huge spear. Good cover. And your winner just like that. A lot of heart shown by JT Hogg. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the team of the Irish Hitman Lafferty, Bjorn, and the tag team champions, Vicious and Delicious. Hillbilly's on the losing end of this eight-man tag team match, the return of one. The first time seeing the Hillbillies fighting as a unit in quite some time, but there you see the man standing tall at the end, the Irish hitman Lafferty, Mr. Shot at Greatness. Fans, JR and I will be right back with more PWA after this. Hello, PWA fans. My name is Aaron Hurt, here to tell you all about how you can keep up with PWA online. Just search PWA Ohio on Facebook or on YouTube, or check out PWAOhio.com for all of the latest information about upcoming events, the latest videos and highlights of past events, and interviews with your favorite PWA wrestlers. So make sure that you like and follow all of those pages. That's PWAOhio.com, PWA. PWA Ohio on Facebook and PWA Ohio on YouTube and follow along with all of us here from Premier Wrestling Alliance and we hope to see you at the PWA Arena very soon. The following contest set for one fall is a singles match with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from right here in Lancaster, Ohio, at a weight of 222 pounds, he is the real deal, Kevin Cruitt.
and his opponent in this special non-title challenge match. At a weight of 237 pounds from Devil's Rivers, Texas, he is the Outlaw Champion, Outlaw Tony James! clear the PWA said this was a non-title match but the PWA forgot this is outlaw wrestling you suck. oh yeah that's what you waited you waited all this time to come here to use that line that's a good one it's outlaw wrestling I am the outlaw champion and I'm gonna put this belt on the line right now Well, JR, quite the situation we have here in tonight's main event. What uh, I was uh, told on my way to the ring, uh, and uh, you know, before the event tonight that was uh, scheduled to be a non-title match, is now a match for Tony James PWA Outlaw Championship. The opportunity of a lifetime here for Real Deal Kevin Pruitt. He's got quite the test in this main event. Now, JR, I know you're not as familiar with some of the men we've seen so far uh, as he would perhaps like to be, but I I did hear that you know Tony James quite well, that you two guys go back several years. Well, yes, Aaron. Tony James and I did go back several years. Um, but that's beside the point. We're in the here and now, and Tony James, the outlaw heavyweight champion, is a fighting champion. He does what he wants, and he will put that belt up any chance he gets to prove that he is indeed the best wrestler in the PWA. And he might be hoisted with his own petard here tonight, putting the title on the line. I know he doesn't think much of Kevin Pruitt, the young rookie sensation here in the PWA, but the fans certainly do. And from what I've seen on any given night, this man is capable of beating anybody. And it just takes a three count for Tony James to rue the day that he ever decided to put his title on the line when he didn't have to. Oh, you're absolutely right, Aaron. Tony James wouldn't have offered this title shot to Kevin Pruitt, the real deal Kevin Pruitt, if Tony James didn't think that it would be worthy of putting that belt on the line. I know he respects Kevin Pruitt. I respect Kevin Pruitt. But as you see, experience always camps over you. Well, he certainly does have the experience advantage, but Kevin Pruitt has a, a multi-generational background in the business. Of course, his dad, we saw, defend his U.S. title, well, sort of, took a count-out victory rather than risk getting beat by Tommy Forte, but nonetheless still the champion. A very impressive move by Kevin Pruitt over the top, flipping around and landing on the apron, nice, back in the ring. Nice to see you give the young man credit where it is due. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm impressed by what he brings to the table every single night. No fear in this man, none whatsoever. This young man, speaking of Kevin Pruitt. And some people uh, uh, you, uh, take issue with that moniker of the real deal, think he's a... Uh, you know, perhaps not quite paid enough dues to uh, to make such claims, but I think that uh, Tony James is gonna put him to the test. Got him in the abdominal stretch here.
Tony James stretching out rookie Kevin Pruitt. Doing a fine job. Transitions to the bear hug. Now with the scoop and the slam. As basic as it gets when it comes to pro wrestling, but clearly effective. As we said, an impromptu decision by Tony James to put his title on the line in this main event here. Still only with a 20 minute time limit. That will not change. So that means that Kevin Pruitt has got to really pour on the offense to try to capture the belt under these circumstances. Well, control of the match has been in Tony James's favor from the opening bell. So the you time that limit might come into effect. A 20 minute masterclass is what Tony James is offering right here. We could very well be seeing a, a lesson taught. Boston Crab now into a lion tamer. Look at all the pressure he's putting on the lower back with this hold. Here are all the holds he's done. From the bear hug to the abdominal stretch and to the lion tamer, Tony James is working that mid back. And making Kevin Pruitt exert a significant amount of energy to kick out multiple times as well, and he generates a lot of that power from the lower body to make those kickouts. So if, if James has done any damage, that's gonna be harder and harder for Kevin Crew to do as the match goes on, but he gets full rotation on that power slam, and we just about saw a new champion crowned. Just like that, a few shots to the face. Nice big body slam. Kevin Crew this close to being the outlaw heavyweight champ. Oh, too high of a risk there taken by Kevin Pruitt. James easily avoided that flying cross body. And now just calmly saunters over. Big boot by the outlaw Tony James. Connects with that Yakuza kick, if you will. And the Ichiban leg drop. See many a men put away by that move, but again, I think he's just trying to wear Kevin Crew it out more than he is trying to pin him here. You can see he just forced the shoulders to the mat each time, didn't bother to hook the leg. Right, he's letting him go through the motions of kicking out and working the abdominals in that lower body. He's expending, he's, and look, he's right back into the bear hug. Right back on the bear hug, squeezing the life out of the young man with the opportunity of a lifetime here tonight in our main event. Coming into the match, he thought he was only gonna get a non-title opportunity against the champion but Tony James says he's the real outlaw of the PWA and he's going to put that belt on the line. We'll see if he has to eat those words. He just ate a couple of clotheslines and a drop kick. That was a really good looking drop kick. Yeah I was going to say quite a bit more height on that one than we saw at a JT Hogg in our last match. Oh too close to the ropes. The relative inexperience there from Kevin Pruitt didn't pull the man closer to the center of the ring. And the right, even even on the receiving end of some really nice shots by Kevin Pruitt, Tony James shows his experience by getting his foot on the rope and not having to expend that energy of a kick out. Precisely. Regardless of our differences of opinion, JR, uh, on uh, the way some of these men do their business, I have to say it's uh, quite nice to have uh, another voice, another opinion in the commentary booth. Uh, certainly can tell that uh, you've got quite a bit of, of insight. Oh, 
Sunset flip. Oh, leverage on the rope. And a pin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still the Outlaw Heavyweight Champion, Outlaw Tony James. Just that quickly, Tony James retains the title. Valiant effort by Kevin Cruitt, as you can see how quickly everyone was caught off guard by that, but that's all it takes. I was very impressed by the youngster, the real deal Kevin Cruitt. A few more matches with some seasoning on him, he'll be worthy of another title shot. We'll have to wait and see. That's it for now, fans. We'll come back to wrap things up here just after this. Fans, that'll do it for another great edition of PWA Wrestling. JR, you got to see so much great action in your debut broadcast with us here, especially that main event. Tony James pulled one out from I don't know where against Kevin Cruitt, got the quick sudden victory, plus Franchise player Chris Cruitt held on to the United States Championship plus that big eight-man tag. What do you got to say about what you saw from the PWA? Well, Aaron, for the first show, I think that that is amazing. I am so glad to be here with the PWA. It is the place to be. Well, I know that you are new to PWA, but you are not new to the wrestling business, and we look forward to having you join us next time when we come back with more great PWA wrestling action right here on YouTube. For J.R. Goodman, my name is Aaron Hurt. We'll see you again real soon. There you are, I've been looking, now, 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 calm down, calm down now. I don't know what them boys said to you, make you madder than a possum in a mailbox, but I... Just, I'm gonna stop you right there, John. I don't know how to get it through your thick head. I am sick of you, I'm sick of JT, I'm sick of the entire hillbilly clan, and I don't know... You know what, maybe we could talk a little bit and uh, take a trip down memory lane and... Talk about how things used to be, and, um, you know. <laughs> That's right, John! Wait, boys, hold on. Look what I found in uh, the hillbilly stuff. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's wild. That. Who Let me wants see that. to do the, uh, do the honors? Oh wow. No, no. no, no I'll disgusting. take your word for it. You know what? I think he deserves this. She don't love you oh. no more, John. <laughs> that's right. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, this thing. Oh, wow. Oh. John, I wasn't sure until right now, but you know what? You are a loser. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs>